Imagine being bitten by a venomous snake and having no idea which anti-venom to use. It happens all the time in South Asia. You see, there are so many different species of venomous snakes in the region that locals often have trouble identifying them. And if you can't identify the snake, you can't give the bite victim the right anti-venom. That's why we're making this video. Today we'll be talking about one very secretive yet common venomous snake found in South Asia, the Russell's Viper. If you can correctly identify this snake, then you might just save someone's life one day. Russell's Viper, also known as the Himalayan Pit Viper, is a highly venomous viper species belonging to the subfamily Viperinae. This subfamily consists of around 378 species of venomous snakes worldwide. Within this group, Russell's Viper is classified under the genus Deboya, which itself has 28 species. Despite this, Russell's Viper remains one of the most notorious snakes due to its elusive nature and high fatality rate. Found across South Asia, Southeast Asia, and the Himalayas, it prefers grasslands, agricultural fields, and rocky regions at elevations of up to 1,500 meters. The International Union for Conservation of Nature, or IUCN, has categorized Russell's Viper as least concern with a stable population, but in certain areas within its vast range, it faces threats from habitat loss and human encroachment. The primary reason behind its elusive nature is that Russell's vipers are nocturnal hunters, choosing to be active during the night when their prey is most active, and their predators are least active. They typically sleep during the day, hiding in burrows or shaded areas. Even though they can be found in close proximity to humans, we rarely get to see them because of their nocturnal habits. When it comes to appearance, Russell's viper is not particularly unique, which adds to the difficulty in identifying it. Adult specimens typically measure between 30 and 60 centimeters in length. Its head is triangular in shape and distinct from its neck. The eyes are vertically elliptical with a distinctive slit-like pupil. Like other pit vipers, it possesses a heat-sensing pit between each eye and nostril that contains a membrane covered in highly sensitive receptors. These pits allow the snake to detect the body heat of its prey, enhancing its ability to ambush unsuspecting victims. Russell's viper has stout, heavy scales, a long tail, and a triangular tail tip. The color pattern of these snakes varies, but they generally display a combination of gray, brown, or green hues on their backs. Many individuals exhibit a dark hourglass-shaped crossband that distinguishes them from other snake species. However, it's important to note that variations in color and pattern exist, making positive identification sometimes challenging even for experts. In terms of behavior, Russell's vipers are primarily terrestrial creatures, although they can climb rocky terrain with relative ease. Their slow-moving nature is deceiving, as they can deliver a swift bite when threatened. As ambush predators, they rely on stealth and their potent venom to immobilize their prey. In fact, Russell's viper is considered one of the world's most venomous snakes based on the toxicity of its venom. A single bite can inject a lethal amount of toxins that quickly overwhelm their victim's circulatory system and nervous system. Now let's take a closer look at this venom. Russell's viper possesses two hollow fangs that fold flat to the roofs of their mouths, allowing them to remain hidden until ready to strike. When they do strike, these fangs are capable of delivering around 190 bakers of venom into their victim. To put that into perspective, a dose of just 15 million dollars of Russell's viper venom can prove fatal to a human adult. Now, while the venom of Russell's viper is extremely dangerous, it's important to clarify that fatalities resulting directly from bites are relatively rare. According to various reports, the case fatality rate due to Russell's viper bites ranges from 5% to 20%. This lower fatality rate is primarily attributed to several factors, including the availability of anti-venom, access to medical care, and the victim's overall health and the amount of venom injected. 
However, it's crucial to understand that without prompt medical attention and appropriate anti-venom, the consequences of a bite can be severe and potentially fatal. Russell's viper primarily feeds on rodents, such as mice and rats, but they're also known to consume other small mammals, birds, and reptiles. Their diet plays an essential role in their ecology as they help control rodent populations and contribute to the balance of the ecosystem. When it comes to reproduction, Russell's viper is viviparous, meaning it gives birth to lev young instead of laying eggs. This is a unique adaptation among snakes, as most other species lay eggs. Typically, females give birth to a litter of 10 to 40 snakelets after a gestation period of around seven months. Snakelets are miniature replicas of their parents and are fully capable of hunting on their own from birth. They grow rapidly and reach sexual maturity within two to three years, contributing to the species' overall abundance. The term Russell's viper actually refers to two distinct species, Deboya russelli and Deboya siamensis. These closely related snakes were initially treated as subspecies of the same species, but recent genetic studies have led to their classification as separate species. Both Russell's viper and the Siamese have similar characteristics and are renowned for their elusive behavior, hence the name Russell's viper. It's important to distinguish between these two species, especially in regions where their ranges overlap, as they may exhibit subtle differences in morphology, behavior, and venom composition. Now let's talk about the distribution of these two species. Russell's viper, also known as Daboya russellii, is widely distributed throughout South Asia. Its range extends from the Indian subcontinent to Southeast Asia, including countries like India, Sri Lanka, Nepal, Bhutan, Bangladesh, and parts of Southeast Asia. The Siamese Riesel's viper, on the other hand, is primarily found in Thailand, Cambodia, Laos, Myanmar, Vietnam, and the southern Malay Peninsula. While both species can be found in parts of India, it's worth noting that Daboya russeli is more widespread across the country, whereas Daboya siamensis is primarily found in the northeastern regions. So how do we differentiate between Russell's viper and Siamese Russell's viper? Well, although they share similarities, there are some subtle yet significant differences. Size is one of the first factors we look at. Typically, the Siamese Russell's viper tends to be slightly larger than the Russell's viper, with adults reaching an average length of 60 to 91 centimeters, compared to the latter's 30 to 60 centimeters. Color patterns can also provide clues for identification. While both species exhibit shades of gray, brown, and green, the Siamese Russell's viper often displays more vibrant hues, including shades of blue, red, or yellow. Additionally, the dark cross bands on its back tend to be more prominent and better defined. However, it's important to remember that color variations can occur within both species, and relying solely on color for identification can be unreliable. Perhaps the most reliable method for distinguishing between these two snakes is by examining the scales on their heads. The L'Oreal scale located between the eye and nostril is single, and in contact with the first upper labials in Deboya russellii. Meanwhile, in Deboya siamensis, the L'Oreal scale is absent or divided into two or three squarish plates. There are many local names by which people refer to Russell's viper, such as the Himalayan pit viper, bush viper, and Indian viper. These names reflect the snake's presence in different regions and habitats across South Asia. However, despite their wide distribution and notoriety, information regarding Russell's viper remains limited due to their elusive nature and the challenges associated with studying nocturnal species. As a result, there are still many unanswered questions about their behavior, ecology, and venom. Further research is necessary to fully comprehend the complexities of these enigmatic creatures. While Russell's viper is known for its venomous bite, it's important to remember that snakes play a vital role in our ecosystem. 
As predators, they help control populations of rodents and other animals. Additionally, their presence serves as an indicator of a healthy environment. It's crucial to promote coexistence with snakes by raising awareness about their importance and implementing measures to protect both snakes and humans. By understanding and respecting the roles they play in our world, we can ensure that venomous snakes like Russell's viper continue to thrive while minimizing the risks they pose to human populations. If you enjoyed learning about this mysterious creature, don't forget to show your support. Your engagement helps us reach more people with our fascinating wildlife content. Thank you for watching. And remember to stay tuned for more thrilling encounters with the world's most secretive and venomous creatures.